welcome to my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so if you like the content that I put out. So today, pattern review and some chit chat because I did do some other things. So I kind of want to share that with you um, really quickly. Um, I think my last video I talked about um, possibly moving uh, and that's not going to happen. I have to get my hair. I swear, my, every time I do a video, something's wrong with my hair. Anyways, that's not going to happen. My husband was able to secure a job, uh, but he did have last week off. And so that was kind of crazy for me. And so while he was here, um, I sewed a lot. I did a lot of things, guys. And what else do I have to say? Um, the week before that, I was completely sick. I was didn't able to do anything. So I think last week, uh, I just kind of was on the ball and getting things done, as I am this week as well. So let's talk about a couple of things. First, I want to talk about a book. Okay. Oh, you know what? This little bump right here. I don't know what that is. Anyways, it's bothering me. So uh, let's talk about some things first before I get into the pattern review. Um, let's talk about a book and let's talk about. Um, there was something else I want. Oh, guys, let me tell you, I have no mascara on because I went to CVS and bought some makeup remo remover. And while I was taking off my makeup, it burned my eyelid and took some of my eyelashes out. So on this eye here, there's missing eyelashes and it just looks funky when I try to put mascara on. So I thought maybe it'll heal and grow back if I don't put any on. So if I look a little, you know, natural i do have a little bit of eyeliner on just to kind of help me look alive anyways let's get started with the book okay so the book let's talk about it i love to read and i've been trying to balance out my creativity my reading my exercising throughout eight hours in a day plus cleaning and taking care of my dog and cooking and all that good stuff right um but i tell you there was a lot, there was a library, well, two libraries very close by to me and they have a store inside of them and they sell the books and my husband and I went and they had books for 50 cents and a dollar. So I did get a sewing book, which I don't have in front of me, which you think I would, right? But that sewing book is very informational. It was like, I was like, wow, there's that many of this and wow, you know, I was blown away. Um, anyway, so it just talks about a lot of different things and how to sew for men and children and you know uh curtains and pillows and it's really it's a really good book but i will bring that in the next uh, pattern review because i do have another one coming up today what i really want to talk about is i got this book for 50 cents and i was just blown away because if you remember uh, a couple of videos ago i talked about going to barnes and noble and using a um gift card that i had gotten from barnes and noble um and I had to use it before it expired and I bought a book called The Paris Orphan. Um, well, while I was there, I talked to anybody and everybody, honestly, I do. Um, while I was there, I was talking to one of the ladies that worked there and she had recommended a book to me, but the book was kind of pricey. So I didn't get it because it didn't have, I didn't have enough cash to pay the difference. So anyways, the book is Sarah's Key. We went to the library and I saw this book and I grabbed it. I had to grab it. This book, oh my God, I started out reading it in one evening and I probably got to like that much done. The next morning I grabbed my cup of coffee and I read the remaining pages and I was just at all with this book. This, you know, again, this book talks about, you know, the war in Europe um, in 1940, you know, in Paris, what they went through and um, all of the Jews and on all that stuff. And it's really interesting and heartbreaking. And it really makes you aware that this was, you know, real. Um, it's a real life event that happened. And all these poor people, um, you know, lost so much. And it makes you really think about where you live. Like, you know, being in the U.S., you know, being... Yeah, we had war and we go through a lot here as well. But wow, you know what these people went through was there's no word for it. There is no word for it. my heart goes out to them. Um, I just could not put the book down. It is that good. I really loved it. So I recommend this book to you if you haven't already read it. Uh, you meaning you like that 
historical facts, you know, fiction type of book, then this is it, okay? Uh, she talks about Paris and the things that happened there. And again, wow. I love books like this. And I have, um, I'm glad that my husband went with me because I had found all these books. I kid you not, I had a mountain of books. And he's like, what, they're 50 cents? And I said, yeah. And then he's like, well, go ahead and get a few. Well, I got a few um, because it was 50 cents for the book. Why not, right? And um, there's actually going to be a book fair. Uh, so they're going to, you fill up a bag for $4. Um, and yeah, so I'm ready to go. And that's this Saturday. And, you know, I'm like, at first I was, that was my plan was to go there Saturday, fill up my bag, get my books because I'd love to read. And then my daughter says, oh, I'm going to be coming over on Saturday. She's flying in from Texas. So I'm real excited about that. Thankfully, she doesn't come to the afternoon. So I'm still going over in the morning. I'm still getting my bag of books because for $4, you can't beat it, right? So I will be sharing that with you. If you're interested in reading and you're interested in, you know, these books that I pick up, you know, I just happen to love history and I love that, you know, if, it's fiction, right? Um, there's facts here, but, you know, things are changed. You know, people, characters are changed, but the story is true. And I love books like that. And it just, you know, again, I'm just rambling. But anyway, good book. If you're wanting to read this, you should pick it up, okay? Um, my daughter is going to take that with her. I, she wants to read it when I showed it to her. And she was like, I want to read that book, Mom. And I said, okay. You know, otherwise, I would probably donate this to one of you if you were interested in reading it. So the next thing I want to talk about is the things that I made um, before I get into the pattern review. So let me cut, let me grab it. It's right in front of me. Now I love to crochet um, and I, oh guys, some, oh my God, some, I got some news. I learned how to knit. Yes, I'm still learning. Now first I was uh, using the really, you know, big needles and then I went to the bamboo size and I was just like, oh, I can't do it with these. So my husband uh, suggested we go to Joann's and see how much they were. Um, so we went and they were like $6, but I had a 50% off coupon. So he's like, go ahead and get it and I'll buy that for you. So I did. I got the, the um, I don't have them in front of me, but the needles that have the circular thing and they're small needles. So you're able to hold them and knit easier. So when I got those and came home, I was like so eager. Um, I started to knit and I was like, OMG, like I'm able to knit now. This is something that I've been really wanting to learn because I really want to learn to knit sweaters for myself. So, I mean, I'm, I'm working on a project. I'm working on two different projects in the crochet um, and I cannot wait to share that with you. One of them I think will be done pretty soon. The other one is going to take me a little bit longer, but um, I want to show you what I've made. Okay, so I created this bag. And I have my crochet, my my yarn, and you know my project that I'm working on, and I have my needle, my crochet needles here, um, and I love it. I love it. I added feet to her. She has feet in the bottom, so she doesn't get dirty. Um, she's a little flat pocket. And I just put a rivet there because I didn't have you know buttons, and I didn't want buttons, but I just wanted it to look like it had a button. So you know, there's a little pocket there. There's pockets inside. The, I am going to come up with something that it makes this a little bit bigger because I feel like this is, it's a good size, right? But I want it a little bit taller, maybe a few inches taller and a little bit wider. So I'm going to do that and, you know, make the pockets bigger. Um, so yeah, this is what I uh, made and I'm really proud of it. And yeah, so this pattern is the, I think the also craft bag by um oh my gosh what is her name i've just forgot her name so sweetness um that's her youtube channel um i think it's so sweetness um anyway she, and, and the what she provides you with you guys are just patterns for the pocket this pocket here and this pocket here and the well the flap that she gives you is rounded and I I, I made a square flap I wanted a square flap because I wanted the color to show and the pleat what was the purpose of the pleat if 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 you really couldn't see it with the flap right so yeah so that's the only thing she provides you with in the measurements and uh, you have to 
measure everything out. So I created templates for them. Um, but I think what I'm gonna do differently again is make it bigger. I did like these pockets better than these pockets here. So I think I may do that. I don't know, I'm gonna change up the pockets. I'm gonna, you know, do something different, give it a revamp. It does have pockets inside as well, which I like, they're pretty big and I like that, but I think I wanna add a little bit more inside. Uh, because I do, um, you know, have my little thing of my little, uh, what, I forget what they're called, space markers. And then I have my, you know, pattern that I'm working on. And I do keep a book. And I put a book, I keep a like a little notebook in here. Because um, sometimes as I'm crocheting, I want to know where I'm at in it. Um, and so I keep track of that. So yeah, so this is the other little project that I worked on. She's really cute. Again, I'm going to redo this because since I had to, re I created my templates to create the bag, except for the pockets, because that's all she gives you. Um, I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to make it a little different. Uh, so stay tuned for that because I'm working on that because I cannot wait to get this done. You know, this is good for me to have the inside, but you know, my husband likes to play basketball and he was talking about going to the park since it's now getting a lot warmer. And I thought, yeah, we can go and I'll just, you know, go and either read or crochet or knit, you know, because you could take this with you, right? Can't take a sewing machine, but you could take this with you. And I said, yeah, we could do that if you, you know, because he wanted me to go and be there with him. Uh, of course, I'm not going to play basketball. He's six five. I'm only five feet tall. Of course, he's going to beat me. So why would I play? I'd rather crochet or, or knit or read. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is it. I love this little bag and uh, cannot wait. Uh, and I think that the one that I create with the new template and stuff, I think I'm going to probably offer that as a tutorial um, because this is, I, oh, her name is Sarah. Sarah was so sweetness. Um, again, she just gives you the directions and putting it together and the little, she gives you the pattern for the pockets and the flap and that's it. The front pockets and the side pockets, That those, that's it. Uh, you have to measure everything out. So I just created templates and again, I'm just going to make it bigger and a little bit different. Um, something that's going to fit my needs. Now, I was surprised that my sewing machine did, uh, you know, take it because it's bulky and, and I did break a needle. So <laughs> with that being said, um, yeah, but I, you know what? Yeah, we'll talk about that when I get to that, that particular, my particular pattern for that, okay? Um, so what are we gonna talk about? McCall 7900 and I am wearing it, you guys. So I'm gonna stand back and hopefully you can see everything. And I did this in a size 14, okay? Now, what I did here, and I have a little, like that, I saw a thread. Um, I did a size 14, and I don't know what this fabric is, but it's very drapey. Um, when I got it, it was a, uh, it was a, a remnant. It was a, oh my gosh, I'm like out for words. Anyways, here it is. I put five, five buttons. I did the version D. So I did the bodice D, but I used A sleeves because I don't really like sleeves. And when it's hot, I don't want sleeves. And, you know, it's pretty warm. Like today, it's pretty warm. Now, I do have my my little joggers on because I'm home and I was wearing a t-shirt. But for this video, I thought I'd put it on so that you could see it. So here it is. And yeah, so I did make this in another uh, fabric about a year ago and I actually had a sew along with this let me have a seat I did have a sew along with this on my other channel I no longer have the video and that I deleted that channel and all the videos are gone so I may do another one because I love this top and I may do the, you know just this exact version here um, so we'll see um, when I can get that done but I am planning on doing that I, I really like the sleeves again it just really flowy this this i don't know what this is i want to say it's um a rayon kind of feels like it maybe a rayon linen mix i don't know but it's no maybe a rayon cotton i don't know it's it's really light and flowy um but i'm going to show you the other one that i made last year i love this one as well and here she is and this one i actually did version a which is this there, as you could see. And this fabric is from Moods, and this is a cotton shirting. 
and I used the blue buttons as you could see. Um, yeah, so this is that one. So I did, you know, already do this and I did use bias binding for the inside. Uh, as you could probably see here, I used bias binding to turn it up. I really love this. Um, so I cannot wait to start wearing these tops. This one's just a little bit longer. This one's a little bit cropped. Um, looks really cute with high-waisted jeans or a skirt, which I am planning on making a, a, a denim skirt. So this will look really nice with that. Um, what else was I going to say? That, it's really easy. I think that a beginner will be able to put this together um, for, you know, very easily. I don't think that there, I didn't run into any complications. I actually made one for my daughter as well. A year ago um but yeah and i don't have her so i can't show you or any pictures but yeah this one i think i did in a size 12 and this one i did just recently did and i did it in a 14 and it's a little bit more breathable this one's a little bit more fitted uh so it does come into my waist area and this one as you could see um you know it's a little bit longer so yeah but I really like it. I like the style. And I think that if when I get work, um, I'll be able to wear this to work, you know, with slacks and stuff. And it'll look nice. So I am going to definitely make up some more like these. Um, and then maybe some more of these because I could probably wear these with the, um, I forget what they're called. Um, the fitted pants, you know, slacks. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but I definitely am going to make some more of these and I thought I'd wear it and again. I wouldn't wear them with my joggers, but because I'm indoors um, right now and I was working, I was, you know, sewing. I have another another pattern review to give you uh, shortly. So, yeah, I've been making up a lot of things and um, not just craft items, but clothing as well. And I'm going to I'm going to be making another item. And again, I'm thinking I'm going to do a sew with me um video with that or so long with that one i'm still contemplating but anyways i love this top as you could see i have two of them and i'm about to make another one because i do have some more i talked about having fabric and not being able to make stuff with it i think on my last video or last two videos and this was one of the fabrics i was like well what am i going to do with that i don't have enough to make really anything but I remembered I had this pattern and I said, you know what? I'm going to make that top and see how it comes out with this fabric. And I love it. And I have some more fabric that I could do. that. I don't really have a lot of top patterns. A lot of it is dresses and I need more, you know, more than two yards. So that's going to be my go-to pattern to make up those until I may, or maybe I, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe if McCall's, because that's what I'm really waiting for, the McCall's sale, the $1.99 sale. Hopefully, my husband will at least give me $5, $10 to buy some if we can. Um, then I can go and get different patterns. But for now, this is, you know, the top that I'll be making <laughs> uh, to use up my fabric. Because uh, I only have like two yards of certain fabrics that aren't enough to make a dress or a skirt. Um, so, yeah. This is it, my pattern review for McCall 7900. Very easy. Um, and I know, you know, I could have just said that instead of rambling on, but what's the purpose? You know, what's, that's no fun. And if I can't talk, that's the whole purpose of having this, this channel is for me to talk about it, to not to say it's easy. Um, but yeah, anyways, I think going forward, I will be mentioning a lot of, of books and stuff like that, um, incorporating different things. That's why I, change the name of my channel um because i don't only sew i do crafting and i also do quilting i'm not quilting well i do quilting uh i haven't done one yet i know i'm supposed to do one for my daughter but i just yeah i'm not there yet i do you know crocheting and i'm gonna start to knit so that's why i wanted to change the name of my channel which i did ended up losing all my other footage anyways long story short um this channel, we're going to talk a lot about, you know, different things, not just sewing, uh, crocheting, knitting. We'll be talking about books, crafting, as now that I know we're going to be here for a while, I'm going to make the boxes for my patterns so that my shelf looks nice and neat instead of having that look down here. If you could see, that kind of bothers me. I like everything to be uniformed really nicely. I like things to be pretty. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, now I'm rambling, but anyways, if you haven't already made this, you should. It's easy and I love it. So shirt and cotton over here, shirt and cotton. Oh my goodness. Cotton shirting fabric here. And this feels more like, you know, it's wavy. It's, it's flowy. So I'm not sure what to call this. I don't know what to call it. I'm, I'm thinking it's a rayon. Kind of feels like a rayon. But anyways, that's my pattern review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or you want to see other things on my channel, please comment below. And again, thank you so much for tuning in, for listening to me ramble here. And we will talk soon. Bye.